please make sure to have a magnetron test jig, also known as a magnetron oscillation lamp, and a multimeter available before proceeding with service. Please bring a screwdriver to disassemble or assemble the set, along with the oscillation lamp and the multimeter. Also, be sure to have a Torx driver available to disassemble the body latch. This video describes how to check the operation status and defect of the microwave using a magnetron test jig and a multimeter when the microwave symptoms are no operation or not heating. If the magnetron test jig turns on when the oven is in operation, it means the heating functionality is working. When the magnetron test jig turns on, it means the magnetron's working. However, low heating condition may still exist because magnetron test jig only detects presence of wave oscillations, not level of energy. To confirm the microwave is heating correctly, put a paper cup with approximately one cup of water inside the oven. Then select a cooking cycle to heat the water. When the cycle ends, confirm if the water is hot. If the water is hot, the microwave is working properly. If the magnetron test jig is not working, first disconnect the power. Then take the outer panel off to check the wiring and proceed with testing the components inside the unit. Disassemble the outer panel. First, remove the screws from the back of the unit, then the left and right side, and lastly, the top and bottom side. If there is no abnormality in the wiring and the appearance of each component after disassembling the outer panel, check whether there is abnormality or damage to the high voltage transformer, HVT, the high voltage capacitor, HVC, the high voltage diode, HVD, or the magnetron MGT, which are on high parts step by step. This is the high voltage transformer. When input voltage is 110 volts, it boosts voltage up to about 2000 volts. The boosted voltage is stored in the high voltage capacitor, then boosted again with the help of the high voltage diode to 4000 volts and transferred to the magnetron. First, check the wiring around the PCB, body latch, and high voltage components. Second, make sure there is no burn marks or other damage on the MGT, HVT, HVC, or other components. If there are traces of soot or spark marks, replace the damaged part and reconnect the power. In case there are burn marks or if the magnetron magnet is damaged, make sure to inspect the fan bracket for deformation and make sure the cooling fan is working properly. Test the microwave to confirm normal operation. If there is no visible damage to the unit or its component, check the HVT primary input voltage when the microwave heating function is working. If the magnetron test jig does not turn on but the HVT primary input voltage is 110 volts, it indicates high voltage component failure. However, if input voltage to the HVT is not 110 volts, the issue is a defective low side component. If the system is caused by a defective component on high voltage side, start with unplugging the power cord. For safety, make sure to discharge the HVC using a screwdriver by touching both terminals of the HVC terminals to the ground or each other. Next, proceed with testing HVT using a multimeter. When measuring the primary coil terminals of HVT using a multimeter, if the resistance value is less than 1 ohm, it is normal. However, if the resistance value is infinite, it is defective. Next, measure the secondary coil of the HVT. If the resistance value is shown, it's normal. If the resistance value is infinite, it is defective and needs to be replaced. Lastly, make sure there is no continuity between any terminal of the HVT and the chassis. If there is continuity, the transformer is defective. First, start by checking the surface of the magnetron for defects or damage. 
If the surface of the magnetron doesn't have any damage, check the resistance between the MGT terminals, as well as each terminal and the case. Normal resistance value between the input terminals should be less than 1 ohm. If the resistance value between the terminals is infinite, the magnetron is open and needs to be replaced. When checking resistance between each terminal and the case, normal value should be infinity. If the resistance value is under 10 mega ohm or shorted, the magnetron is defective. Replace the MGT and check for normal operation. So far we have focused on checking the high voltage side. The next step is to check the low voltage side. First, start with checking the HVT input voltage. If voltage is not approximately 110 volts, the problem may be with a switch or faulty connection. To check that, connect the power cord and check the front LED display to see if the unit powers on. If the front LED display is not turning on when connected to power, the problem is with the power supply components or connection. After disconnecting power, remove the outer panel from the unit. When checking the main fuse at the filter board using a multimeter and the resistance value can be measured over 0.1 ohm, the fuse is good. A bad fuse will have a resistance value of infinity and will need to be replaced. After replacement, connect the power and check that the front LED display lights up. If the front LED display does not light up even after the fuse replacement, check the connections to the PCB and wire harness terminals. Look for abnormalities. If there is no problem with the connection, check the bottom TCO, cavity TCO, MGT TCO using the multimeter in this order. If the terminal is disconnected or the TCO is defective, the front LED display will not turn on. TCO, if the resistance value is measured, it is normal. Next, check the body latch assembly. Make sure all three micro switches fit properly in the body latch assembly and operate correctly when the door is closed. In case the upper switch is not getting fully pressed in by the latch, reassemble it properly and make sure it works correctly. If the upper switch is not pressed fully, it will cause the inner lamp, the turntable, the fan motor, and the cook timer to function normally, but the unit will not heat. In case the bottom switch is not getting fully pressed in by the latch, reassemble it properly and make sure it works correctly. When the cooking cycle is activated, the PCB operates normally, but the unit will not heat, the turntable and fan motor will not work, no sound it's working. Assemble the outer panel when repair is completed and microwave is tested. First, start with the left side, and then proceed to the right side in the same way. After assembling the outer panel, assemble the door grill. First, insert bottom hooks inside hole of cavity front and then insert upper flange and hook inside Z channel of outer panel. Check bottom hooks and upper flange for proper assembly. Slide door grill to the right to lock it in place. After the repair, make sure the unit has been assembled correctly. Connect the power and then test if the microwave is working correctly using the magnetron test jig. If lights on the magnetron test jig turn on during the cooking cycle, the repair has been completed successfully.